Create a fun Mexican style inspired garden decor piece for your backyard for summer. I used Coon and Felt on a Walnut Hollow rustic shadow panel to create this really fun um, project and the flowers are removable. So what you're gonna need are some nine by 12 sheets of Coon and Felt in bright colors. This is the rainbow um, EcoFi felt. You can get it at your regular craft store and also on Amazon. I have the links down in the description. Make sure you pull off those labels before you cut the felt in half because otherwise you're going to have to cut, peel off two labels. So I cut those 9 by 12 sheets in half and then I use a Sizzix Big Shot with a bunch of different flower dies to cut a ton of flowers. Now of all the flower designs you want to cut out two of each. I have put a list of all the dies that I used over on my blog but I couldn't find some of them online so they're not all linked here. So you'll want to click, click the link to the blog at the end so you can see all of the um, dies that I used. Next, I laid out my felt pieces on the Walnut Hollow Rustic Shadow panel. Now the wood is rough, so the, the little um, texture on the wood is going to grab the felt and hold it in place. That's why you don't need to glue this down. If you're worried about wind, you could glue some um, little flat, like those metal flat tacks to the backs of your flowers and then press them into the wood so that they're still removable. So I layered all my flowers on here. I'm using bright colors. You could use pastels if you want to have a more subtle effect, um, or you could put this in a baby's room if you're gonna use pastels, or you could go with the bright colors like I have here. Now, once your flowers are all layered, you're gonna wanna stitch them together using some embroidery floss. You don't have to stitch them together. You can glue them together, or you can just let them kind of hold together on their own. But I found that when you start layering the flowers, they don't necessarily, all the layers don't necessarily want to stay stuck when you put the panel vertically. So I'm just stitching it together with some long stitches and some French knots and then adding sequins um, with French knots as well. You can also add seed beads on these and rhinestones, whatever you like, or even like puffy paint. Once you have all of your items stitched, press them back onto the panel. You can even use a brayer to really press the fibers of the felt into the wood texture and then display in your garden. You can hang it from your fence or put it on the tabletop, whatever you decide to do. Please click the links here at the end to subscribe and hit that blog link so that you can see more photos as well as the full supply list. See you back here again soon. Bye.